Vamos sin presión Quieres saltarte todos los procesos Ya viene la acción Que tú me pidas Si no te sueltes Sube la tentación Siente la conexión Oh na 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 Sin prisa a llegar Baby va rápido va Ale Pa' que esta vuelta se note Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial lesson from the Apex Predator Billiards Training Club. My name is Apex Elena, your aspiring professional pool player and pool instructor, local pool instructor here based in Jamaica. And in this video tutorial, once again, we are going to be learning from our past mistakes. How can we use information, knowledge gained from our past mistakes to propel our game to the next level? This is why I do talk over contents like this because it's very very important that we gather intel and use this information to better our chances of winning more racks more games more matches in the future all right now in this particular rack here this is featuring shane green and leroy jones uh two of the other players that was featured in this 10 ball race to seven tournament which you would have been seen on my channel for the past couple of uploads now of course this one here is a lesson to all pool players of course take your chances whenever it's given by the title you should see that this is something that um you should always do now it's easier said than done but i do strongly encourage this has happened to me many times you would have seen it in a past upload where i jumped a ball into the pocket and i didn't call my shot you have to take chances whenever you get them all right now if this is the first time you're on the channel do not forget to smash the subscribe button below leave a like leave some comments and questions down below and let us jump right into the rack and see what we can learn from this today all right now shane is off with a fairly mm, i wouldn't say it's a decent break but uh it's definitely not a game that is definitely runnable so of course um shane here is going to perhaps have to be calling a push out here so he's just pushing the cue ball and causing some problems on that four ball and leaving lee with an open shot at the two now he's perhaps he should be in some trouble here right didn't really like how lee miller played that safety there it was a bit risky needed to perhaps come back onto the short rail and perhaps get in behind the cluster but he's safe here and here's another chance that shane took beautiful kick and did not call his shot ladies and gentlemen young amateur players intermediate players if you're playing the game of 10 ball and you have to call your shot as long as you're kicking the object ball towards a pocket whether you're trying to make it or not it's always best that you try to call a pocket because right there uh shane would have had the advantage to play a safety now he has left lee miller here with the option of accepting the shot as it is or returning it back to him lee miller accepted the shot but didn't make very good use of that actually that was a poor safety on uh, Leroy Jones part there. Definitely needed to get that three ball in an unmakeable position. But it's not all over. Shane has to work really, really hard here. He has to back cut that three and bring that cue ball around the angles and try to get some sort of position on that four ball. That is by the eight. I'm not sure if the four can pass. But let's see what Shane does here. Back cutting this three. Oh, missing. That's an uncharacteristic miss. But you can safely say that he missed that shot due to the fact that the position on the four may not have been guaranteed. He was trying to bump into the five to hold position, but he missed that three. Lee Miller going after a shot there, fortuitously getting a safe, right? Not leaving Shane with a makeable, well, at least not an easy makeable shot. So Shane again will have to go for another safety play here all right nicely done here banking leaving the cue ball down all the way down here leaving a bit tough now this is risky because there's caroms available combinations available we're not playing early combos on the 10 all right if you pocket the 10 you have to respot the 10 and continue your inning oh that was a brilliant shot there and the cue ball went around the angles 
coming around for the four. That was a beautiful shot there by Lee Miller. And I believe based on the speed and the direction of the cue ball, that shot was definitely intended. Let's see here. He's on the four. He's trying to squeeze that four. I, did, I don't think that he spent enough time on seeing if that four can actually pass. So that's, a, that's an error. That's a game-changing error there. This could be the chance that Shane is actually waiting for here. Ooh, nice stroke there on that four, bringing it back out to the middle of the table. Getting a nice pot here. Six ball is hanging in the side. So it should be very easy for Shane here to get back onto the six. He can draw. He can go forward. One rail, two rails. Let's see what he does here. He goes forward, two rails. Back out into a nice large positional zone here. And then he has a natural three rail path to go towards the seven. All right, let's see what he does here. He should naturally come into the line of the seven. This cue ball is looking a bit hot. Oh, dear. Definitely, he played that shot a bit too hard. That would have been similar to a shot that I had uploaded on my previous video. I tried to play position for that very same seven ball, and it came off a bit hot. I was actually playing with Leroy Jones in that particular rack. But Shane's a pretty good, really, really good shot maker. So he landed fairly good on the seven and pots that get back in line and he's nice all right just kind of drawing this cue ball cue ball back out to the middle of the table definitely kind of over stroking a bit there that cue this table is really really fast too all right that was risky he was definitely playing for the left side pocket here but he's pretty good here and here is where a brutal error occurred he was trying to stun the cue ball using the tangent line and ooh definitely not um an ideal spot here he has to be stretching and the cut angle i'm not sure if it's cuttable i'm not sure if you guys think it's cuttable let me know in the comment section what do you think but he's stretching and i don't think that using the bridge he's trying to use his left hand here so he's just up to play for a safety and personally guys in my opinion after looking at this video i do think that's a risky safety it's a really risky safety because you're leaving the opponent with an open kick shot. So I think at all levels, at the professional level, I don't think a professional would ever think about playing a safety like that. That is something that if Shane, if you're watching this video, I would recommend that you do not ever try to play a safety like that. That's just in my opinion, my genuine opinion. That's a risky, risky safety. And I also think that Lee Miller followed up by doing the same thing. So Shane gave himself a chance at the kick, refused the kick, gave Lee the option at the kick. Lee refused the kick. That there is showing me some signs of weakness or some signs of shortcomings in a department of both players game. Shane eventually decides to go for the kick, right? Coming off two rails, that would have been the most viable option. And this is a heartbreaking defeat simply because it was a great shot heartbreaking defeat but lee miller should have definitely gone for that kick there all right what have you learned from this take your chances whenever you get them all right guys if you see a shot especially when it comes down to the latter part of the rack you always want to take your chances that losing that rack there was a crucial defeat and that was a rat that really put Shane in the driving seat of this particular tournament. All right. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Uh, see you in the next upload. Do not forget to leave some positive comments, questions down below. And I'll see you in another tutorial. Take care, guys. Peace out. Like, share and subscribe. Bye bye. Vamos sin presión, quieres saltarte todos los procesos, ya viene la acción. Que tú me pidas, si no te sueltes, sube la tentación. Siente la conexión, oh na na na, sin prisa a llegar. Baby, va rápido, va, ale, pa' que esta vuelta se note. Entre más lento, más rico y más tiempo te dedico. Baby, va rápido.